And in China, the decline in reading is leading to the closures of independent bookstores. Chinese are spending 75 percent more time on the Internet than they are reading printed material. The number of people buying books across the country has steadily declined and led to more shutdowns of traditional brick and mortar bookstores. But one independent shop in Tianjin has not only survived, it's actually seen better business thanks to the support of its loyal and avid customers. Here's CCTV with more. It's been a tough time for traditional bookstores. When it comes to reading, internet companies are offering rock bottom prices for ebooks, threatening paperbacks with extinction. Creating something unique seems to be the only way to survive. The charm of my bookstore centers on a lifestyle, the expectation of finding a new book or meeting a new author, or finding someone who's just like you. Opened 15 years ago, Tianze Bookstore has become famous among bookworms in Tianjin. Every book on the shelves has been selected by Bian or has been introduced to her by loyal customers and members of the bookstore. But rising rents and razor-thin profit margins, added with the unrelenting onslaught from online booksellers, have put independent bookstores like hers on the verge of bankruptcy. Bian's bookstore would have gone out of business a long time ago if it wasn't for the help of her loyal members in getting discounted rental space. Including the layout plan and interior decoration, members helped a lot. I don't feel alone in the shop because the contributions of members is everywhere in the space. Bian and her fellow readers find solace in opening a book. When reading in the shop, they feel more like friends. The oldest member is an 88-year-old professor from Nankai University. Bian says she became so inspired by the elderly member, proving that there is no age limit on reading. Reading broadens my vision and boosts my understanding of what others have accomplished. It's an essential part of my life outside the lab. Independent bookstores across the nation have seen a more than 50 percent drop in customers in the past five years. These stores, which used to be the symbol of a city's vitality, seemingly are slowly seeing their time come to an end. Bichong, CCTV. Now on U.S. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.